Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this is a new CCTV system I've just purchased. So it's a Hikvision and it's a bullet camera, that's the design of it. That shield that's over the lens doesn't actually move. So the one I bought, this is the one I decided to buy anyway. Specifically because it's one a new one on the market called Dark Fighter, which actually increases the... It actually gives you a colour image on a night vision lens. So the compression it uses is H.265+. plus. It's uh, an XEA Mini Bullet Network camera. It's HD video, weatherproof, onboard storage, and it has XEA, which is the night vision and WDR which is wide dynamic range. So there's X here, same again there, it just repeats itself, HD video. It also says there, product in box may vary, appearance and specifications. So this is no different, it's just repeated on the top, on the front, and nothing on the bottom. Let's go ahead and show you the camera. So as I said, it's quite a small camera, it's, it's almost the size of my hand half the size of my hand, the actual camera, and then it's a bit longer with the mount. That's the mount, and it's on a gimbal, if you can see that, so when you undo that, what it does is releases pressure on the gimbal, and then you can set it however you want, through, those, through that 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and lock it off straight, or lock it off angled. That's probably how I'm going to get it. So, this is a genuine product from a UK seller. So the mount is a three screw hole mount and then it goes through a cut out there, the cable, to stop it cutting the cable. And the cable feeds to, let me just put that to one side, to a block. And then your ethernet cable goes there because this is a power over the ethernet version. So it's not the old analog, this is a digital camera. So your ethernet cable goes in there and that's for the old design analog, your power supply. So you can actually retrofit this to an, to an existing analog system or you can just use power over the ethernet. If you use that one obviously it needs a power supply whereas power over the ethernet actually provides power through the ethernet cable. So that's what that's for. So, and another interesting thing with this one is, let me just straighten that up is it has a micro SD card slot in this as well. So let's go ahead and show you that. Just bear with me as I undo these screws. These are T10 size, size torque screws. But I don't actually think they come out, so they're designed to stay in there. Yeah, I think they're mounted in there, so I just wanted to show you what's in there. If you can see that, so that's a reset button there. I don't know what that is, but if you can see right at the bottom there, I don't know if it'll con if it'll focus in, but in there is a micro SD slot, right, micro SD card slot there. So it's also waterproof with a rubber gasket in the back of that there. If you can see that, and I think it's designed so the screws don't pull out. That's what it feels like anyway. So once you've put your cable in, before you've put your cable into the back of this camera, sorry, you need to put this connector over the over the back of it, over the actual Ethernet cable, and it's got gaskets and everything. So you put that through, and then you connect you connect a, your Ethernet cable to that, and then screw it together, and then it should make that joint waterproof. Then it's another nice little touch. They also give you. Uh, back of screws, mounted screws in the wall plugs to mount it to the wall. I won't be doing that with mine personally. So you do get a Allen key with it as well to open that port if you ever need to use the micro SD card. Let's go ahead and show you what was in the information that was in there. So you do get a driver disc which I haven't opened yet to see. I don't know what drivers are on it. Let's see what it says on there. There we go. So I don't know if I mentioned earlier that's the drill template, but I will be going through all the all the shorthand terms of what all this actually means on these CCTV systems because this is the first one I've ever bought and I found that there's it's all jargon that no one understands. So I thought, right, let's go ahead and uh, 
to try and make a video so people can understand what they're actually want, looking for to buy because you know the people that are selling these don't actually give you any information so let's go ahead and show you a close-up of the instructions obviously they apply to this camera because that's why they're in this box like I said uh, this is a Hikvision brand I went with Hikvision because either Hikvision or Swan are the ones that have been around for the longest time if you want to pause the video at any point you can do there we go that's a little this is the instructions obviously that came with it if you want to pause it you can do so there's a lot of information on this one on the other booklet as well so that's the disclaimer we don't need to look at that it's all the standard things so I will be making a separate quite a long video of all these terms and what they all mean because it's not easy to understand it's not like anything else I've ever encountered so you know there's good 30 different terms and what they actually mean so I'll just give you a quick look through them table of contents there appearance description so it actually gives you what they are on the next page which is a bit strange but so overview bullet type 2 camera so I don't know which one mine is I think it doesn't say I'm not sure I haven't read these instructions and I won't need to I mean most of it's common sense you just plug the Ethernet cable into the back of your box you buy your DVR and straight into the back of the camera and it should work but um, the guy I bought it off, he was kind enough to say if anyone has any questions um, you're more than welcome to contact him and ask him any questions you've got because he'll know a lot more than I do because he sells the products whereas I don't you know I learnt enough to to choose which one I wanted for my specific reasons you know and I chose the 2.8 millimeter lens because I wanted the biggest wild, biggest field of view possible for one camera which is about 90 degrees there you go that's another page it's just going into it goes into a lot of detail at least it gives you an idea if you're new to CCTV cameras it's better to have more information than not enough and you make a mistake so, so there we go setting up the camera over the lamp because with this one you can actually use an app from Hikvision and actually watch it on your smartphone a live feed from your house if it's connected to your wireless router if it's connected to your router you can actually watch it on your smartphone so this is just going through the details in the booklet there we go so yeah there's an app available and you can watch a live feed so long as your router's on then uh, you get a live feed to your smartphone of exactly what's happening at the time I don't know any more than that because I haven't actually connected it yet so if you have any questions like I said you're more than welcome to contact the seller of these he's a UK seller and uh, he has a phone number a UK phone number that you can find him on to ask him any questions he said he was more than happy to give any advice because everyone's circumstances are different there we go at the back so let's go ahead and show you what I paid for this camera and what specs I chose so it's a Hick Vision. And a massive code that's the one I bought Dark Fighter Ultra Low Light IP Network ca CCTV camera POE. I'll tell you what POE stands for it's power over Ethernet. So this one is the Dark Fighter, which is brand new to the market. So I chose the three megapixel one, and there are issues with fake ones on the market. So be aware if you do try and save a bit of money and buy one from China, a they may have a Chinese menu system. And B, they may well be fake. So I've been promised that this guy selling them is selling genuine ones. So I chose the 2.8mm lens for the biggest field of view. And it cost me £115. And then he's based in Dundee. I don't know if you can see that there. He's based in Dundee. And the, the seller is JT Wholesaler. 
801 feedback. Obviously that's what he had. He's not done a lot of feedback but all he sells is expensive CCTV systems so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and what I did was instead of uh, showing you the information on the box is I printed it out direct from the manufacturer's website. So this is the model I bought, ultra low light network bullet camera. So it's ultra low light, it's an SD capable, it's, I don't know what 3D DNR is, wide dynamic range and the IP67 is, is a certain amount of waterproofness. But what I, like I said, I'll go through and I've took as much of the information as I can and try to make a guide to CCTV so at least you can go to a, a seller and say, I want this. And then they tell you, yeah, it's not a problem, and they give you a price instead of looking at 50 or 60 different types of camera and not knowing what you're looking at. So up to 3 megapixel high resolution, max 2048 by 1536 at 30 frames per second. So the options on lenses with this camera are 2.8, 4, 6, 8 and 12 mil fixed lens. So I went with the 2.8. What happens is if you, as you go a bigger lens, what it actually does is it narrows down, if you can see this, the angle of what it's shooting. So if you go for 16 at 40 foot, you might only see someone's front door, whereas the 2.8 you're going to see a whole house and maybe a house and a half. So that's the difference. So those are the lens the lenses options so it's ultra low light those are the compressions compression algorithms it uses to save space and it's 120 decibels wide dynamic range 3G 3D digital noise reduction and 12 volt DC and PoE that's power over the internet the infrared range is up to 30 meters supports onboard storage up to 128 meters 128 gigabytes and it is IP67 waterproof. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So this is a bit more information of this camera. This is obviously from the manufacturer's website. Is it focused? It's difficult to see. So if you want to pause this, I'm not going to go through it, but yet again I said there, look, I was wrong, it's 98 degrees. So the bigger the lens, the less viewing angle you get. The lens is M12, the iris, day and night, DNR, wide dynamic range, 3 axis, all the other important information, image resolution, image settings, day and night, network storage, alarm trigger, protocols and standard. Let's see if it will focus, if that is focused it's difficult to see try and get it all in for you. If I've missed anything I'm really sorry about that. So this is the same thing again. Still on the camera. There we go. If you want to pause it and read it you can do. Let's just focus in on that the bottom bit. So I learnt which camera I wanted and then I had to decide which uh, which DVR I wanted, digital video recorder. So I actually went with this one, which I'll be doing a separate video of it next and uploading it after this one. So I went for the Hikvision 4 channel Ultra HD 4K UHD network NVR up to 8 megapixel 4 power over the internet, Ethernet 4 channel CCTV recorder new. And that one was 149, as you can see there it says 4K Ultra HD because I've just bought a new OLED TV and that's why I wanted to use it with this. So it's 140 quid for the box, for the DVR, NVR sorry, obviously there's a difference between them. Same guy again, I bought it from JT Wholesaler in the UK and he's based in Dundee in the UK. Let's go ahead and show you the specs of what I bought on the box. So this is for the actual NVR, DVR, sorry. I'm getting confused myself. Yes, it's a uh, network video recorder, sorry. So yeah, third party network camera supported up to 8 megapixel resolution. Supports one channel HDMI, one channel VGA, HDMI up to 4K resolution, four channel network cameras, 
can be connected with 40 meter incoming bandwidth. Supports dual OS to ensure high reliability system. Plug and play with up to four independent PoE network interfaces. Supports various VCA detection alarms and VCA search. Supports all those video formats there. So I'm just going through the quick specs of this. So if you want to pause it, this is obviously the NVR network video recorder, not the camera now. So there we go. If you want to pause it and read it, you can do. Obviously, I'll go into more detail on this when I do the video of the NVR. And this is the back of the NVR. This is I bought one with four only because I'm only using it for one camera. They do do an eight one that takes eight cameras, but um, that's more expensive, obviously. So that's all the ports in the back of the ca in the back of the DVR. So that's it. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you the front of this camera. I don't think I did. So let's show you a close up of what it looks like. It's CE marked. So another weird one is that what the front looks like. Let's see if I can get it in there. So it's they're actually shielded, so they're not as obvious when they're on the uh, the X here. So there are LED bulbs in there. LED night vision LED bulbs there so around the outside of the lens so that's the lens in the center and then it has a, a shield but that doesn't move on this bullet one so let's go ahead and show you the close-up of that label see if you can read it so Hick Vision IR network camera model DS 2CD 2035 FWD-1 2.8 millimeter lens so 12 volts 0.6 amps 7 watt POE 0.2 to 0.1 amps, serial number, and all the other stuff there. So made in China. So that's it, guys. Let's see if it'll focus. And that's the branding there. Like I said, the whole the whole thing is probably would just about fit in my hand. Let's see if it'll focus. Yep. So it's not much longer than my hand that one. So that's it, guys. That's just a quick overview. And like I said, I'll link to the guy. I bought this camera off and he says he's more than happy if you want to ring him to ring him and find out what you uh, what you he can suggest things of what your needs are with CCTV and then he can suggest what you need and link you to it like I said they won't be cheap because they are UK stock and they are genuine so if you see one for 50 quid it might well not be genuine and it's up to you to decide what you want to do with your money so that's it guys, so thanks for watching and check back soon. Cheers!